Hi again, folks. It's Anthony Benici here, and uh, we're doing Bullet Point for Brain Blinkers one more time. And very lucky to have Andy Brown with us. Thank you very much. Andy's Thank the uh, maintenance supervisor at Cochlea, and we just did the program with them, with the Brain Blinkers program, earlier this week. And Andy's very kind enough to spend a couple of seconds here with us just on two really simple questions about the Brain Blinkers program, mate. So for you, what were some of the key sort of takeouts? Um, I think for us as a department and as a company, we, we don't have a, a standard template, a standard form of terminology. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot in pro problem solving. We do a lot in terms of our maintenance with processes, but in terms of our behaviors, in terms of the way that we can performance manage and uh, have those types of discussion uh, as a team and even individually, we don't really have that, that standard template. So. I think a few of the examples that you gave, even the coffee, the acid test, uh, are examples that we'll, we'll start to describe those words and people, everybody understands what we're talking about, if we're below the line, above the line, uh, which puts everyone in that common common area, I guess. Excellent, mate. That's, that's good to hear. And, and I guess finally, how do you see some of those, you know, above the line or any of the other parts, the acid test, which is how you get rid of the brain blinkers, but how, how do you see it playing out in, in real life, whether it's personally or, or professionally? Um, I, th I guess everyone thinks of their personal examples when we, when we were having the discussions within the team um, you, you kind of link back to that time with your girlfriend with your wife, with your family so I think even through the couple of hours that you spent with us you kind of have that emotional tweak and that's where it connects with, with the individual and we had a lot of feedback from our own team that, oh, that they knew that they'd been left of course inspired and motivated by it but they thought of those personal examples where they had that time with their wife, with their partner, and, uh, and I guess that's what they link back to. So trying to put that perspective of thinking of uh, that example into a working example is the way that they uh, they try to bring that across. So often, I hear over the last 11 years of doing it, that the, the, the personal example, getting that first, is the most important part, you know? I guess corporations want us to work on the problems and things that we can work on in our business and in our professional lives, but finding that personal example first is a really nice way to change thinking. So getting that first, like you said, with the girlfriend or the wife or the family situation, and then implementing it in work is, is usually the way it works. So thanks again, mate. I really appreciate you taking the time, and um, yeah, look forward to working with you more.